Hello everyone, I'm Maria and welcome all of you to my channel. On this video I would like to share with you what I have purchased over the past two weeks. I did go on the sales and also how did my makeup class go at Sephora. First I'll quickly tell you what I've been wearing. I have my black uh, Valenciaga flat boots, they're like up to here. Uh, black skinny leather effect trousers from Zara. Fabulous, really you need to have one of these ones on your wardrobe that's 30 euros and well probably they're cheaper now on the sale but you really need to have one of those I really recommend them a uh, black mango uh, leather belt t-shirt also from Zara it was a short sleeve but I did cut it because if not I thought it looked too boxy and I think now you know like it look much much better my necklace it's from Dorothy Perkins and it's like a star with some diamonds Casio watch gold ring Links of London and Bimba Lola rings. My nail varnish is Dragon by Chanel. My fabulous base water. I had today my black Zara long wool coat with black leather slits. Just a plain black All Saints scarf and a black cardigan from New Look. So, yes. So that's what I've been wearing today and I'll quickly tell you what I have purchased. I did not uh, purchase any clothing because I thought I put that money aside and I'm gonna make a big uh, purchase um, like first week of February when I do get paid again because I need that extra bit. Probably it's going to be either a pair, two pairs of shoes from Jimmy Choo that I did fairly love with or a Valenciaga bag so stay tuned for next video. Then I'll show you what I did get. I got some pyjamas because I think the sales is the best place to get that type of thing because I hate to spend money on things that only me and my boyfriend see really, <laughs> you know, like nobody else really see them. Men really don't care what you wear at home, to be honest. So, you know, I just want to be nice and comfy, but I don't want to be ashamed when I do open the door and somebody knocks. So, <laughs> I got this um, nice, uh, it's not uh, silk, it's viscose. It's baby pink and it has these beautiful flowers. As you can see, it was 30 euros down to 15, and it's from Women's Secret, which I don't know if you have it all over the wall. I think it's a Spanish label, not sure. Super soft, short kimono. I thought that would look uh, fantastic in the summer um, when you get out of bed and you have to have breakfast and you don't want to get dressed. Then I did get uh, two pairs of socks from Oisho, which this is, you know, like one of each. And this was only 4 euros, so 2 euros each pair of socks. Then I did get this super soft white t-shirt that says Dreamers are winners. And also this is like a padded inside, which I thought that was really, really cute. It did come with the trousers that they were like uh, blue with some clouds, but I don't like buying print trousers because I do have lots of print pyjama trousers and lots of print everything and then I find that I cannot really match one with the other so I decided now on I'm gonna buy just like plain trousers and print tops so then it'd be easier to match it. So this is from Oisho as I said which is, uh, I'm not sure if you do have this um, all over the wall, it's from Inditex from the Zara group. Then I did get this t-shirt also that it says now or never. This is from uh, their um, gym collection. I don't go to the gym, I don't like sweating much. Um, but I am actually going to wear this uh, at home or probably I'm gonna style it and wear it outside because I do really like it and it's very much in fashion, this style now. This was uh, nine euros. Then I got this pair of trousers that they were 20 euros down to uh, 9 from Oisho also and it's super soft and when I say super soft I mean it looks like actually velvet but it's not, it's cotton and they are dark grey and they have this fringe here perfect to cover muffin tops these are actually, these are actually gym trousers but I purchased them to stay at home because I say I don't go to the gym and I match it with this fabulous cashmere uh, jacket that is like a stay indoor jacket and it's dark grey, as you can see, cashmere blend, super warm wait, where is the sleeve? here is the sleeve and then it's quite baggy and it has a huge pocket which it's 
a bit bizarre because it sits just around your hips and it kind of makes you like a big mama's bum, but it's really super soft and it has really a uh, lot of space at the front so you can wrap it up like this and you know perfect to stay indoors this was fantastic it was 40 euros down to like 11 i think so i got the whole pyjama set for 20 euros that is cashmere blend and well the t-shirt was like 9 euros each or something like that and this 15 so for less than like 60 euros i have like pyjamas to cover me the rest of the year because as i said i don't like spending money on pyjamas then uh, makeup, Sephora. Um, if you follow my videos, I did a makeup, not a makeup video, sorry, a Christmas video where I got for Christmas and I did get quite a bit of makeup. On there also I got a makeup uh, class voucher for Sephora for one hour, so I did go to that. I did not really like it, but I think it's my fault because maybe I did not state properly what I did want to get out of that um, hour. And the girl kind of like used my face as a palette and thought, I'm just going to do something fabulous. Not that I did look ugly, goodness no, um, I look, um, I'm not sure, like David Bowie on one of the videos or uh, other, a J-Lo, it was like all gold and metallic green, it was amazing, like I have never uh, seen my face like that before. And it's a shame I did not take a picture, but it was so not my style. Also, I think it was an hour wasted because I am never going to need or I never I wanted to do that makeup on me. So there's no point of you showing me. I would have much preferred that she tried to take a palette, I don't know, maybe the naked um, eye palette from Urban Decay, like basics, and try and tell me how does this work or where do I put this or where do I put that, something like that. But well, what I did get out of that uh, class was that I do have quite um, dark color lips, she said so, that my eyelids are quite small, so heavy eyeshadows that not look good on that, and that I have quite strong features, so it looks nicer if I do my blusher like that instead of like this. So, you know, I did get something out of this. Um, I'm planning on my birthday, which is on April, I'm probably gonna ask my uh, parents for all of these vouchers, because uh, they cost 40 euros, but then the 40 euros you can use them on the store, so technically you just get like a free makeup class and a 40 euro voucher. So I'm probably gonna do that because I want to, I have some questions and answer and I think it was my fault. So, you know, I did not really connect with the girl, so I'll probably try with another girl because there's lots of girls that work there, and I'll let you know how the next one goes. So, I had 40 euros then, so I did purchase something with those 40 euros, and also I bought more things. Um, I had tried before this Herborean Korean Skin Therapy. I was once walking around Sephora, and I do love about that store, is that they always give you free samples, and you're walking around, and even if you have not purchased anything, I think the girls are, are so nice, or so bored, that they just give you things. So they gave me to try the BB cream and the CC cream from Herborean. And I did try it on and I did not think the CC cream was that amazing. Like I re did not really see that much uh, difference on my skin tone. But I did really like the BB cream. And also BB creams are normally quite oily because they're moisturizing. And you normally tr uh, have to put like powder uh, afterwards because if not your face shines quite a bit. So I did not think that happens with this. There's two shades. That's Dore and Light. I did get it on Dore. And... So, yeah, it's basically a BB cream. These apparently were the first label to do BB creams and it's from Korea. This is what it looks like. It is quite pricey. This was 36.50. So if you think like the BB cream from L'Oreal, I think it's like 12. So you do really, I recommend you if you want to buy it, when it's something that expensive, you maybe need to, like I have already tried a sample and I like it, so then I did not mind spending my money on this. But I do, will not ever buy something that is 36 euros without actually have tried it, because how many things you have on your makeup bag that you think you're going to use and it's so money and you never use it, so yeah. And that is the one that I'm wearing now. I don't know if it looks fabulous and you will think, oh, well, girl, you don't look that good, but <laughs> this is what I have. And I do not put, I just use my 1 to 3 Clinique and then I have my uh, anti wrinkle cream super defense from Clinique and then I put this on and I put just a tiny bit and then I just put my uh, normal eyeshadows and things like that from Airborium. As I said, really nice label. 
Also, it has no smell, which is kind of good. And then it came a sample of a Smart Moisture Blanc de Creme, which I'll probably uh, have it on my handbag. And one of these days that sometimes you do feel like a bit of like tight, uh, dry skin, I will put this on. But I will not purchase this because it, this is to remove the stains that you get from sun damage. And this is gonna be something kind of stupid that I might say now. But I do actually like the small freckles that I do get around my nose in the summer. I think it just looks nice and summery. And that probably sun damage and it is quite bad for you. But I don't really want to remove that. I understand this comes from Korea and different cultures like different things. And they uh, like to have like very, uh, you know, white and perfect pure skin. But I kind of like the uh, surfer um, look that you get a few f uh, freckles. So, but thank you, Evorian, for this nice present. So yeah, this is the leaflet they gave me when they gave me the samples. Then from following on the Oriental skincare, I got from Herboris. You probably know this because apparently like everybody has this. And now I do also. It's from Herboris and it's this fabulous, look how big, like it was 25 euros and I know the retail price is 49, so it was half price. And it's a Tai Chi mask. I did see that... Uh, Two weeks ago on Sephora and then I went on the web and look at reviews and things and how this goes. Because I have been looking for a while for um, a mask that I can do weekly. So this is fantastic, well, no, fantastic jar that it, will, it looks really nice on your bathroom and then you open it and inside you have the yin and the yang mask. First, you put the black mask that is uh, supposed to be uh, purifying and it cleans up your skin perfect and removes all the dead cells. And it smells, which I do love it, like Blandy Blue. I don't know if you had Blandy Blue all over the world. It's like a snot that came in like a garbage can when you were a kid and it was a toy that stinks. But not stinks, it smells, it has that funny particular smell and that it smells the same. So it's bizarre because I'm saying that I do like to put Blandy Blue on my face, but. I love it. I absolutely love the smell. Really, really nice. And then after you've done that and you do a few massages, uh, which is really easy, I just got them on the website. Basically, you just have to do that. So it's not like you need to go to a beauty school to do this. Then you remove this and then you apply the white mask and you leave it on for 10 minutes and um, it restores balance to your skin and it makes you feel fabulous and fantastic. Then. When I did see on all the reviews, uh, one of them was very helpful, I don't remember who was it from, but it did say that your towels are going to get really, really dirty. So I am quite organized, so when in Mughi and I got a towel, face towel, which is only 3 euros 50, that is exactly the same color as the black. So uh, even if it does get stained after I wash it, it's not going to be noticeable. So that is a very nice trick, and I do wish I could remember who did I read that from, because that, you know, that's why the internet is fabulous, because you get this like nice friend uh, tips from people you don't actually know. So yeah, this is, I have tried it, I have done it only once and it did take me like half an hour the process, but it was such a fabulous process because it smells so good. And probably when I do, I know this is 50 euros always, and I'm actually, I, it's been only once and I did fell in love with this. And probably when I do get paid next month, I'm actually gonna go in, there's some left on the sale, I'm actually gonna stock up on another one. Even though everybody did say that this jar, uh, one of the girls said that she's been for like six months using it um, uh, once a week and she still had um, quite a bit left. So probably it's like, I don't know, 25 euros a year for a face mask, which is fabulous. So that's what one of the purchases. Then I did get something, you know, like a easy four step buffer from Sephora for nails because it was just like three or four euros and I had a bit of money left from my 40 when I purchased this, so I got this. And then, um, if you saw my Christmas video, you'll know I got from Benefit the, one of the world's famous neutral palettes. I got the sexiest. And I did ask for the Lube It Up also. Uh, and my parents, well, my parents, Santa could not find it anywhere in walking around El Corting Glass, which is the only place that sells uh, Benefit in Spain, only Sephora and El Corting Glass. 
Um, I found it and it was also the sale down from like 27 euros to 21 so it's a cutest nudist makeup kit which is really what I do like because the other one at the eye palette that I got for Christmas which I did ask for it uh, it was it's in like a silver and purple which is fabulous but not like my everyday look so this is more my everyday look but I did wanted that one for special occasions so this well of course it comes with the instructions that's why I do love benefit and it has these three shades and these three are uh, shadows in powder and then this one is in cream the shades if you want to know them they are the Call My Bath, Mute Sings, uh, Thanks a Latte, and this is the RSVP, and the Dandelion, which is the one that I'm wearing today. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's a small, because uh, it comes, you know, in this pack. And it's a very nice... Um, pearly pink tone. Really like it really I'm um, happy with this so this is what it looks like and that was 21 euros also the box is super cute that's what I like about Benefit it's the makeup um, the presentation it's fabulous and the instructions for me are just so life-saving like I there's uh, oh and this is what I'm wearing now so probably if you know how to apply makeup you will think like that's nothing to you know to be so excited about it but I am so excited the things I can do with instructions it's amazing so yeah that's I got it for myself and the only downside to this is that it comes with no brushes which the big beautiful eyes and the smoky eye palette from Benefit did come with brushes well now apparently they don't come with brushes anymore so I had to buy some brushes on uh, Sephora and I found this, it was quite difficult for me because I know brushes can be quite expensive, like a Kabuki brush from Chanel can be like 90 euros, I'm like, really? For that I have to look like Giselle after I apply it, it's like, whoa, no. So, the lady did tell me that the um, shadow bases, that they are um, cream, need to be applied with a different brush, so I got this one that was, uh, it's shadow, you know, it hasn't got Sephora Professional, and this is special for cream shadows because this palette has one and the other palette has two cream shadows and this was like 990 or 899 euros and then all the other ones which is like a Naya um, eyebrow foundation and then you have these three here for eyeshadows all this was uh, 9 euros so for 20 euros I got all the brushes Probably if you do know how to apply makeup you will say that you can get them better quality But for me this I have been using them for like two weeks now and it's fabulous um, I think they look really good for me and then I did get the daily makeup brush cleaner I just, after I use it I just spray it like twice and then I get some um, Toilet uh, paper and I just kind of like press it like this, you know like carefully and I remove the colors and that perfectly clean because I do have different palettes, so I don't want to transfer like some lighter colors onto um, darker shades and things like that. And then, last, because I don't really have anything else, and the video is way too long, they did give me a Biba La Juicy Couture uh, perfume at uh, Sephora for purchasing all these things. It is quite, uh, quite sweet, this one, I'm not uh, very keen on that. And the Chance Chanel, it smells very good, which is a surprise because I do love Chanel. Like, if you follow my channel, you will know. And Chanel nail varnishes are the best they are out there. Uh, but I don't like Chanel perfumes because I think they do have such a classic smell that smell like nana. <laughs> so it smells like nans. But this one it smells very good. Nans, I mean like uh, nana as in grandmama, not as in nan from the church. And this is a small Valenciaga which is a perfume that I do have and I just said to the girl can I have a small sample of Valenciaga so I can have it in my handbag so this is uh, what I have purchased over the past two weeks I hope this video is not too long and that you like it um, if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel and I'll hopefully see you all very soon for another exciting video thanks bye bye